Hey guys. Woo, how's it going? Happy, it's a, uh, what is it? It's Labor Day. Um, so happy Monday. I am in the middle of my workout. And the reason I say middle is because it is the middle. But slightly, I feel sweatier than I'm looking actually. So Mr. Flow, Mr. Flow. Oh, um, I did shoulders yesterday. Did I do shoulders yesterday? Yes, I did. Yesterday was a long day. Um, I will not get into the details, but sometimes when you are around certain people in family, you need to drink a fifth of bourbon. So it was a long day, but it was also enlightening because I kind of have come to an epiphany, maybe not an epiphany, just a moment of clarity about what I think is the best approach to take this has nothing to do with you, nothing to do with fitness. I'm just talking out loud. Anyway, remember on one of my last couple of videos, oh, see that? I said that I made this list. So often when I go for a run, <clears throat> or if I'm in the middle of my workout like this, or sometimes when I'm reading Pinterest at night before bed, I come up with this like, oh, I should talk about that. <clears throat> and so this was a list I made on one of my last workouts that I said I was going to talk about these topics. And I think some of these, I know the one I'm going to talk about today, this toning thing, has to do with um, something I saw on Pinterest. Um, but it is funny because <clears throat> I, get, I feel like I get the best ideas when I'm working out. Maybe it's because, I don't know, you know, if I'm sitting at my desk, <clears throat> I don't know why my, I haven't eaten anything yet. I don't know why my, <clears throat> I tend to clear my throat a lot if I've had dairy. <clears throat> excuse me, but I haven't had anything to eat other than, and that's not eating, my um, blue stuff that I take before working out. Anyway, I'm digressing as usual, trying to keep it under 10 people. Um, anyway, happy Monday. Um, I got back from, I have really a lot to tell you, but I will shoot separate videos about those later. Um, being out in Las Vegas with the Corvette team. Um, wow, that was so much of a, a completely, entirely different experience than I expected it to be um, on the good side. It was a little scary in the beginning, um, but again, I'm all about, you know, facing fear, figuring out what fear is really about and kind of conquering it because fear is what limits us, doubt is what limits us. And um, so it was really a good, um, a good experience for me on many levels. Number one, it was fun. Number two, is flattering to be invited to, to be a part of this. And number three, um, it was just, it was cathartic because I, I faced things, I learned things um, about, you know, what I needed to do in that moment. I'll talk about it later. Um, but I also learned things that, that apply to life, you know, metaphorically. And I'm all about metaphors. You know that. So let me talk about, <laughs> I'm also finding it humorous. I don't know if you can tell. See my hair? <laughs> like, you can, you can be in the moment and feel like you're really sweaty. And then usually it's when I stop for a little bit. I always noticed that when I did insanity workouts, that I'd be sweating more. I would do that, it, for those of you that have done insanity, you do like an eight minute maybe, six minute um, warm up that's really, really intense. And then you stop and you stretch and he does a lot of stretching. And usually in that stretch, I have just sweat dripping off of me. I'm always like, why am I sweating more now when I'm moving more slowly as opposed to that? I digress. What am I at? Three minutes, I'm at three minutes. Okay, so the topic of toning. The reason I wrote that down, I know why I wrote that down, is because I was probably seeing some of these Pinterest boards. Oh, do you see that? Let's make it even. <clears throat> um, I keep seeing, you know, when I go, this is like soaking wet. When I see these Pinterest boards um, that are, there will be like, you know, people are, are pinning things, whether it's from a magazine or from a blog or, you know, from some scam or whatever. And it's always like, 10 minutes to tone to, or, you know, 10 days to toned to arms for that strapless dress event, or, you know, do this workout, or, and it's always like these quotes where someone's like, I know a friend that did this for 30 days and she has a six pack now, you know, and people are like, oh, wow, I just do this in 30 days, I'll have a six pack. Um, or if you want to have arms like Madonna, do this workout for 30 days. Or, you know, if it, they're usually, they tend to be about arms or abs or butts, um, great butt, great, you know, skinny thigh gap, God forbid, thigh gap. I'll never have one of those and I'm fine with it. Um, which actually, that reminds me of something else that I want to, oh, shoot. 
Hopefully I'll remember it. I'll remember it. I'm trying to look for a pen. Do you guys mind if I grab a pen? Hold on. Just hold on. I'll be right back. I'll be right back. I'm just, I'll be right here. I am. I'm right here. I, that made me think of something else. See, I always come up with different topics for you guys. Anyway, so here's the thing. And this is what, a lot of what upsets me is not for people that have been working out for a while. People that have been working out for a while maybe have a better understanding of this, but a lot of what I love about my company, Fitfluential, and, and a lot of what I like to do is, you know, somebody was, somebody was there for me early on when I first started wanting to get fit and when I, you know, gained weight getting into corporate America. And I, and I learned from people that had been there, done that, right? People that, that could tell me what's hype and what's real. What frustrates me about seeing stuff like that is that I know people will fall for it. I know people are going to fall for, you know, sorry, I got a little breath. People are going to fall for, oh, you know, I've been doing this Jennifer Aniston arm workout for 30 days and my arms don't look like hers. Okay, here's the thing. First of all, the word toning is a joke. I always say toning, to the word toning should only apply, you know, toner is for printers, okay? You should, you should be looking at wanting muscle. Maybe you don't want uh, as much muscle mass, but you should be worrying about building muscle, not toning and, and using like wussy Tracy Anderson weights like, oh, I should never lift anything heavier than this. Oh, let me do shoulder presses with this. Oh, you probably shouldn't do shoulder presses, please. Um, anyway, so when you see things that are like, you know, do this workout, that, you know, red carpet ready workout to get ready in 30 days. Okay, if you have 75 pounds to lose or 50 pounds to lose, like the average American, the average American probably has 50 to 75 pounds to lose. You might think, oh, Kelly, come on. Most people have to lose 10 pounds. Don't kid yourself. I guarantee you, it, and, and I'm not just saying it because it was me, because I have an understanding before I started getting on the scale, okay, I thought, I think what it is, it's a mental thing. Most of us don't want to say, we don't want to say, oh, I have 35 pounds to lose. We'd rather say, yeah, you know, I know I'd ra I have about 10 pounds to lose, because 10 pounds sounds safe. It doesn't sound like you've been a glutton, like you've been a lazy loser who hasn't done anything and you've been eating too much. So we don't ever want to say how much weight we have to lose, right? That's my opinion. It certainly was, it certainly was the way I was feeling about myself. I hoped I didn't have more than 10 pounds to lose. And then I got on the scale and I realized I actually had closer to 30 pounds to lose. Okay, get over it. It is what it is. Knowing what at my heaviest weight, when I moved home from Pensacola, Florida, before I finished college, I, I'm 5'5". Five five. When I moved home from Pensacola, Florida, I was up to like between a size 12 and a 14, okay? And I'd gotten really curvy. I don't gain it all in one place. I just gain it kind of all over. But I was between a size 12 and a 14. I got on the scale and I was 176, okay? And I remember the size. I, I remember where it was, how it felt. Um, and, and that's when I first started working out. I think I lost about 20 pounds. I probably got down to around 150, 155. <clears throat> and everybody thought I looked great. Of course I looked great because I lost, you know, they were comparing me to what I looked like then. And I was an okay weight. I was probably an average American weight. For me, in the past, my ideal weight has been closer to 125. Okay, so really, in that time, I was 50 pounds overweight. Okay, but if you saw me walking down the street, you would not go, oh my God, that girl is, you know, obese, she needs to lose weight. You might say, she probably, I just think this is like the, the American, I don't know if it, it, it is in other countries, but I feel like in this country, everybody's like, yeah, you know, I need to lose 10 pounds. Nobody wants to say more than 10 pounds. Nobody wants to get a grip on the fact that it's easy to hide unhealthy fat in many places, okay? So when I was that, that heavy, I'm sure most people looked at me and thought, um, you know, she's curvy, she's heavy, but I don't think they would look at me first and go, oh, she needs to lose weight. It was just curvy. But what I'm saying is I was 50 pounds overweight at least back then. Okay. Now, the reason I said in the past that my ideal weight has been closer to 125 is because I shared this in one of my last vlogs. I've lost 20 pounds this year, um, but right now I really should be weighing myself this week. I haven't done it, you guys. Um, but the last time I weighed myself, I was... I'd gotten down to 138, and then remember, I got upset, I did a vlog about this, because then I was like, wow, you know, I took my measurements again, and I lost more inches, and yada, 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 I got on the scale, and I was 141, was I 141? I think it was 141. Maybe I, it was down to 137, and then I was up to 141, because I was like, wow, four pounds, but I'm leaner. 
So the reason that I'm saying in the past my ideal weight was 125 is I have a feeling my ideal weight is not 125 anymore. I have a feeling I'm, my weight on the scale will not get down that low again because I have much more muscle and I'm fine with that. I really don't care what I weigh. I don't care if right now I get on the scale and I'm 145. What I care about is when I stand in front of the mirror, I know where I have fat to lose. I know this, I can't stand it. <laughs> it's one of my biggest pet peeves. That's fat, it's not healthy. It doesn't mean that someone's gonna look, it's not about, it really is not about for me. Part of it, yes, okay? Part of it is about, you know, what people see in me. It's about me. When, when I'm lifting and I'm building and I'm seeing what, how I'm changing my body and then I see areas that are jiggling and blah, it's just not healthy. It doesn't fit in with, with what I'm accomplishing and how strong I feel and how capable I feel. So, you know, for me, it, yes, it is part vanity and I don't apologize for that. And the other part is how damn great I feel at age 44 to look and feel and be able to do the things I'm doing, you know? So back to the toning thing. What upsets me about that, typically most people that have not gotten started working out, they don't realize how much weight they have to lose. And when you look at something that says, do this workout that Jennifer Aniston did or that you know Tracy Anderson recommends for Madonna for 10 days and you'll have toned arms, you are not gonna get toned arms by doing something for 10 days. You're not gonna get a six pack for doing something for 30 days. I've lost a lot of weight, people. I have nothing close to a six pack. In fact, if you were to come over here, you could probably go to my stomach and go blah, 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 blah. <laughs> okay? It's not that I'm proud of that, but it's gonna take me a while. I, I can wear a bikini and feel pretty darn good about it, but I also feel like, wow, you know, somebody could take some pliers on my stomach and be like, Bruh. in fact, my massage guy was doing this funny thing about, He's like, I'm going to massage your stomach, and I'm like, okay, and he was like, <laughs> kind of taking the fold, and he was doing something about lifting the organs up, and I'm like, dude, I don't even want to know what that looked like, <laughs> because I really don't want you to be able to grab that much skin on my stomach, but again, I digress. I'm over 10 minutes. That's the point. It has to be, don't fool yourself if you're just getting started, and don't get discouraged on this. But don't fool yourself into thinking, you know, some, a, a, lot of, a lot of women write to me lately and they're, they're like, you know, I, I admire your arms, I like what you've done, and, and I have a ways to go, people. I'm happy with, you know, I'm happy with what I've done, okay, and I'm happy with, sometimes I catch myself when I look in the mirror and I'm like, Is that, are those my delts? Like, holy cow. And I can see, like, the striations and whatever, and I'm very happy. But I have a ways to go. It doesn't mean I'm not happy with what I see. I have a ways to go. But the thing is, I... I um, I have a sneeze coming. I work, <coughs> sorry, I work my ass off and I lift heavy weights and I've been doing this for years. Frankly, I don't think all of what you see has been just what I've been doing this year. I have always focused on training my arms because I, way back in the day when Madonna first came out with Truth or Dare, I was like, those are the arms I want. Thing is, I had a whole lot of fat covering it up. So what really upsets me when I see stuff like that, it's not necessarily the author or that the workout is bad. The workouts that you could be seeing could indeed be a great workout. But, you know, the way that you're going to get ripped arms or great abs or fantastic glutes is over time. And you also have to have the diet that goes with it. You know, I mean, if I want to have my abs or my core as chiseled as I see it on a magazine, do you know how ridiculously strict you have to be on your diet? You can't do what I did yesterday, which is to have a lot of Moscato. You can't do what I did yesterday, which is to have, you know, some potato salad. What did I eat? Oh, I had a couple of these mini cupcakes and I'm fine with it. But you know, you have to choose the degrees of, of what you want and what it will take to get there. And what I hate is knowing that there's people out there just just getting started and they're gonna see a message like that or buy something like Insanity or, or any of these workouts out there or go to their, their local gym that says, oh, if you do spinning, you know, you can burn 900 calories an hour. That depends on the person. And, and I hate it when people don't know all the things that go into success and how you can, and that's, again, that's why I founded Fitfluential. I wanna get these amazing people out there that have inspired and educated me to be able to inspire and educate other people so that they don't just go and, and feel that the only resources they have are you know the magazines and the newsstand that show somebody who's four weeks out from competition and is dieting so hard that they're probably, you know, they could eat a piece of paper and gain 20 pounds. Your average consumer doesn't know that. They don't know like 
they think, oh, I want to look like that, and they don't know how long it would take for somebody who even is maybe five pounds overweight to get to look like that. I can't stand it. And when I see these boards on Pinterest, I'm like, you can't just go out and order abs or order ripped arms or a shredded back or great ass on the drive through menu, okay? You have to work for it, and it takes a long time. And you gotta eat right, too, and you gotta drink water and do all the stuff that we know. That's my rant. Of course I went five minutes over like I always do. Now I'm gonna go back, and I'm gonna work on my ballet body, uh, lower body workout, and then I'm gonna stretch. I'm gonna do yoga tonight, and I will talk to you guys tomorrow, and I'll tell you all about the Corvette weekend, and yada, yada, yada. Goodbye.